The things that animals do can be outright breathtaking, but sometimes they're just downright weird. Even though we've coexisted with animals for millions of years, they can still surprise us with strange behaviors that, on the surface, don't make a lot of sense. From odd displays of domination to trying to eat themselves whole, let's take a closer look at why some animals do what they do. Crocodilians. If you looked inside a crocodile or alligator stomach, you'd probably see the remains of prey like fish and birds, along with any other animals they'd gobbled up. But there'd also be a rather intriguing addition to the menu, a pile of rocks. Almost like a side dish, these colossal crocodilians occasionally chow down on any rocks they can find. But what on earth would drive these mammoth reptilians to swallow a portion of pebbles? Obviously, it's not for the nutritional value, or the taste, though there are a couple of theories explaining why they engage in this tooth-cracking behavior, and one is that it aids their digestion. Because crocodiles and alligators tear off large sections of their prey or swallow them whole, a few rocks in the stomach can help to crush and grate their fully formed food, especially meals that contain tough shells and bones. Although another theory suggests that the increased weight the rocks give them allows them to stay underwater for longer periods of time. With more rocks in their stomach, they can take a greater amount of air into their lungs and still sink. Although I reckon eating rocks is enough to give anyone that sinking stomach feeling. Gassy manatees. Manatees are sea creatures that once inspired the myth of mermaids, thanks to their graceful movements and the seriously strong booze those sailors must have been drinking because if they'd taken a more sober look, they might have noticed that these bulbous sea dwellers were swimming around using their farts. You heard me right, but how exactly did they use that gas to get around? Well, manatees are incredibly heavy animals that can weigh up to 1,300 pounds. At that weight, an adult manatee can eat up to 130 pounds of vegetation each day, which means a lot of methane gas builds up inside them. Usually sea-dwelling animals this size have swim bladders to help regulate their buoyancy. These are organs that contain a mix of oxygen and gas, allowing animals to maintain their depth without floating up or sinking. But for all their underwater grace, manatees don't have one. Instead, they control their depth by releasing steady streams of gas from their lungs and from their butts. So if they want to float to the top, they'll hold everything in. But if they want to sink to the bottom, they'll let one rip. Well, that's an eyeful you can really smell. And if you think flatulence is funny, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons below so that you never miss out on another of my brilliantly bizarre videos. Crafty Crows Have you ever been called a bird brain? You might think someone was calling you stupid, but it could have been a compliment. That is, if the bird brain belonged to a crow. These black feathered flyers are often credited as some of the smartest animals on the planet. And with good reason, the crafty corvids have learned how to fashion and use certain tools to help them get out of reach food. They also understand how water displacement works, which scientists observed as they dropped rocks into a water-filled tube to raise up a floating snack. And they can even remember different human faces, meaning if you treat one badly, it'll hold one hell of a grudge against you. Along with their many other signs of intelligence, scientists have concluded that crows have the reasoning skills of an average seven-year-old human child. And it's all thanks to the composition of that utterly incredible bird brain. Unlike most birds, crows have a phenomenally large forebrain, which is where high-functioning processes take place, like problem-solving and complex thinking. It takes up approximately 80% of the crow's total brain volume, which is shockingly similar in proportion to that of a human brain. So it would seem that not all bird brains are bird brains after all. Zany Zebra Finch In the bird world, trying to find an attractive mate can be a real hassle. A lot of female birds invest huge amounts of energy into finding and breeding with males that have the best plumage, size, or nest. But not for the zebra finch. These tiny birds find that the size and stamina of their mate is what sets them apart from the rest, as larger and fitter birds can better provide for their nest. But if the wily female of this bird breed ends up with a small and unfit partner, she'll lay much larger than average eggs that contain a lot more nutrients. 
Because Zebra Finch is made for life, the female has no reason to save up her resources for another better partner. This means that the low genetic quality of the male is compensated for by good egg quality. While nutrients can overcome genetic coding, a larger egg does give the chicken side a lot more nourishment, meaning it can grow larger and has a better chance of surviving once it hatches. That's one weird way of compensating for an unfit father. Pistol Shrimp Snap Measuring in at just over an inch and a half long, the pistol shrimp doesn't look like it could do anyone or anything much harm. But this unassuming little creature has a deadly weapon hidden up its sleeve or should I say, in its claw. That gigantic pincer has a snapping mechanism that can snap shut at a shocking 60 miles per hour. When it suddenly clamps down like this, the force results in a sound that can reach a deafening 218 decibels. That's louder than most gunshots. But because it's so small, it sounds more like someone pouring milk on some aggressive cereal. I guess it's not called a pistol shrimp for nothing. It achieves this ear-splitting action thanks to the design of its huge pincer, which consists of two main parts, a plunger and a socket. The shrimp opens its claws and builds up tension before setting the whole thing off with incredible force. When the plunger slams into the socket, the water in it is suddenly displaced and jets out at a staggering 105 feet per second. It's so fast that the water pressure drastically drops and creates a vacuum, which then collapses and sends out a water pulse that's so powerful it can stun nearby prey. The reaction also generates a flash of light and brief burst of heat that can reach up to 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's as hot as the surface of the sun. So even though this little shrimp isn't much bigger than your finger, you shouldn't go sticking your digits anywhere near this super tiny stun gun. Poopy Baras. Capybaras are arguably the largest and most adorable rodents in the world. Able to grow up to two feet at the shoulder and weighing up to 143 pounds, these semi-aquatic rodents are closely related to the equally adorable guinea pig. While they, like their super small relatives, enjoy a diet of fruit, grasses, and vegetables, they also like to indulge in a hideous homemade treat, their own poop. As gross as it sounds, this bizarre behavior is a relatively normal and natural action called coprophagy. Because some of the food capybaras eat like grasses can be hard for them to digest, they eat their waste in order to effectively digest it twice. So these otherwise incredibly cute rodents will chow down on their own poop in the mornings, which is when their poo is still protein rich from yesterday's meals. Do you think they're still adorable now? Cow compasses. Back in 2008, scientists began to notice a remarkable behavior in one of Earth's most unremarkable animals, cows. Thanks to the launch of the Google Earth tool, scientists were able to see that cattle all around the world weren't just standing about randomly in their fields. A significant amount of them appeared to be lined up on a north to south axis, almost like they were aligning themselves with the Earth's magnetic poles. The discovery sent a ripple of excitement through the scientific community, which led to two very important questions. How and why were the cows doing this? Seeing as the Earth's magnetic field was the only common factor, they deduced that cows must possess a sixth sense of magnetism. It's possible that this would have helped their ancestors during migrations, meaning they'd all inherited a great sense of direction. But as attractive as all these theories sounded, the science wasn't actually that strong. Follow-up studies into this crazy cattle alignment found no such patterns, leading many to believe that the first findings had been a total fluke. As disappointing as it is, it looks like it's time for the myth of internal cow compasses to be put out to pasture. Fake it till you make it. Some women can think they're pretty savvy in the bedroom, and for one reason or another, try to fake certain <clears throat> carnal shenanigans. But they're not the only species that can fake it. Scientists from Sweden's National Board of Fisheries discovered that female brown trout also fake it when they mate. During their reproductive cycle, both the male and female fish of courting pairs quiver with their mouths open when they release their eggs and sperm. However, female fish often quiver without releasing their eggs, and the poor dude falls for it every time. Not only that, but the more big O's she fakes, the more males are attracted to her, believing they too have a chance of passing on their genetic material. But what purpose does all this fishy floundering have? 
Researchers believe that female trout trick their partners into this premature release so that they have more choice over who will father their offspring. Clearly, it's a behavior that's better for her than it is for him. Dragon Fakes While female trout may seem to have it good, mating for some female dragonflies can turn into a desperate fight for survival. If the females aren't lucky, hyper-aggressive males can injure or even kill them if they're coerced into the ultimate carnal act. And it's gotten so bad that females have started going to a hilarious extreme to avoid mating with pestering partners. They fake their own deaths. In 2017, a scientist in Switzerland witnessed a female moorland hawker dragonfly being harassed by aggressive males. All of a sudden, she dramatically dropped out of the sky, crashed on the ground, and lay completely motionless. It looked like she died from the sheer exhaustion from having to deal with so many annoying males. But after the males moved away, she flew back up like nothing had happened. Now the act of playing dead is seen in many species like frogs and more famously possums to avoid being attacked by predators. But it seems that these dragonflies use the death faint to avoid predators of the Harvey Weinstein variety, if you get my meaning. Vervet Drunkies Humans love to indulge in an alcoholic beverage every now and again, but we're not the only species that enjoys a cheeky tipple. Scampering about on the Caribbean islands of St. Kitt, Nevis, and Barbados, the local population of vervet monkeys are notorious for their love of the devil's juice. In their quest for the taste of hooch, they've been known to steal entire bottles of booze from bars and swipe cocktails from unsuspecting tourists. Confused by this boozy behavior, scientists began to observe these monkeys' strange hooch habits. And their studies revealed that they weren't just drinking to indulge in the high, super sweet sugar content of beverages like cocktails. When given a choice, some monkeys voluntarily chose the alcoholic alternative, suggesting they'd learn to enjoy the fuzzy feelings of inebriation that come with alcohol consumption. Further research showed that they even had drinking habits similar to humans, with some monkeys enjoying the occasional snifter, while others binge drank to the point they blacked out. Despite their famously dexterous grips, it looks like these monkeys need to learn how to hold their drink. Buffalo Phenomenon The American electoral vote of 2020 was a never-ending nightmare for the nation. But in the animal kingdom, displays of democracy are, ironically, much simpler. Across the grassy plains of the African continent, herds of African buffalo astoundingly cast votes on which direction they believe they should travel before moving on. But obviously, they're not doing this by filling out a ballot. According to scientific observations, these cattle purposefully shift positions while they're resting. But this isn't to get comfy. By changing the direction they're facing, they're casting their own vote on which way they think the herd should travel, and the head female will move the herd off in that direction. In other words, African buffalo herd movements are guided by a majority vote. Although this looks like incredibly progressive behavior, not every buffalo gets a say because only the females can cast the deciding votes. <laughs> looks like democracy isn't the only thing humans share with African buffalo. Even these males refuse to ask for directions. Self-eating snake. Have you ever seen a cat attacking its own tail? <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Although there's nothing weirder or more frightening than watching a snake do the same thing. terrifying tail-eating behavior of snakes has inspired ancient symbols throughout the ages, like the Ouroboros, which represents the eternal cycle of life and death. While it's an incredibly beautiful emblem, the reason snakes really do this isn't nearly as pretty. Snakes can't regulate their own body temperatures, so these cold-blooded animals sit under external heat sources like the sun or a hot lamp to warm up. If they want to cool down, they'll slither into water or a patch of shade. But if they get too hot, they become horribly confused. The heat also ramps up their metabolism, falsely making them feel hungry. Disoriented and starving, they'll attack and devour the first thing they see. Unfortunately, this can turn out to be their own tails. And because they're evolved to prevent their prey from escaping their jaws, once they start to self-cannibalize, they become their own can of Pringles. And sadly, they just can't stop. The Goats That Know No Fear Everything in our world adheres to the laws of gravity. That is, except for goats. 
Several subspecies of these four-hooved heretics make an absolute mockery out of physics with their utterly insane climbing abilities. The magnificent mountain goats of North America, for example, have adapted to spend most of their lives careening across steep rocky mountainsides. And over the pond in the European Alps, albine ibex can clamber expertly up just about anything, even practically vertical brick dams. Along with their remarkable sense of balance, they have slightly soft cloven hooves which spread their weight into the rocky crevices and grip on tight. They've evolved to do so in order to reach high-growing moss, lick salt from rocks, and get to tasty fruits and leaves at the tops of trees. While their behavior does technically make sense, seeing a herd of goats climbing a tree, like these goats in Morocco are apt at doing, is enough to blow even Einstein's mind. This unusual behavior is usually witnessed in the Sao Valley, where the rare Organia tree grows. The delicious fruit that buds from its branches are a particular favorite of the local goats, who will happily hop up to the tops of these 25-foot trees. Although with their voracious appetites, let's hope these goats don't eat themselves out of a tree to sit in. Fainting Goats while some goats are clearly fearless, there's another truly bizarre breed that completely freezes at the slightest scare. <laughs> Hilariously nicknamed fainting goats, the real name of these frightened furballs is actually myotonic goats. Through breeding, they've inherited a genetic condition that causes their muscles to stiffen briefly when they're startled. This is because normally, when an animal is scared, a brief jolt of heart racing adrenaline forces their muscles to move. But the cell mutation that these goats have prevents their muscles from receiving the adrenaline, which causes them to completely lock up instead. So even something as silly as a man doing a flip is enough to make them freeze in their tracks. Thankfully, this means they don't actually faint. They just fall over and bounce back up once the stiffness goes away. While the reaction isn't harmful or painful to the goats, I imagine being constantly snuck up on just to be laughed at is pretty annoying. Menacing Magpies Black and white Eurasian magpies are known all over the world for their incredible plumage and brilliant brains. In fact, they're widely considered to be one of the smartest birds in the world, a trait that sadly isn't shared by their hyper-aggressive Australian cousins. These frightening flyers perform dangerous dive bombs on innocent people strolling past their nests, as this one incredibly unfortunate kid found out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> While their black and white plumage may make you think they're just a breed of super aggressive magpie, they're actually not related to the Eurasian lookalikes. These avid Australian birds are members of the Artemidae family like wood swallows and butcher birds, not the corvid family like crows and Eurasian magpies. So every spring, Australians helmet up and hunker down from these strange swooping attacks, which have resulted in a staggering 600 injuries in 2020 alone. But they're not doing it to cause chaos. They're actually just trying to protect their nests. This fearless strategy keeps potential predators away from their nests during breeding seasons, meaning they'll attack almost anything that comes within about 160 feet of them. Fortunately, only about 10% of mating pairs become as staunchly aggressive as this guy, but even that's enough to put the land down under, under constant attack. Hilarious Hooded Seals When trying to impress a lady, some men puff up their chest to make themselves look a bit more buff. But when male hooded seals are trying to attract a mate, they puff up something drastically different. By closing off one nostril, this seal blows and inflates an elasticated membrane in his nasal cavity. The sac is then pushed out and presented like a big red clown nose, which gets its color from all the blood vessels running across the stretchy membrane. Then he'll wave his bulging sac around all the available ladies to prove just how big and powerful he is. So the bigger his sac is, the better his chances are. But these seals don't just have a nose for romance. They also use their inflatable nasals to square off against other competing males that could weigh up to 880 pounds. So to save them the effort of physical confrontation, they just measure up each other's balloon and the larger of the two usually wins. Well, it might work for the hooded seal, but if you're a man, don't go waving a big red balloon in a pretty lady's face before asking her out. It doesn't work, trust me. I've tried. 
Reindeer Retinas. Reindeer are best known for Rudolph's fictional glowing red nose, but scientists have discovered that these animals genuinely do change their color, but in a different way. Astoundingly, the backs of their eyeballs change color from gold in the summer to blue in the winter. This is all because of changes in their tapetum lucidum, or cat's eye, a mirrored layer that sits just behind their retinas. This helps the animal to see in dim conditions by reflecting light that misses the retinal sweet spot back into the eye. And in the reindeer's arctic habitat, which can have weeks of unending light in the summer and month-long nights in the winter, adjusting their eyes to long-term lighting is essential. So when the season gets dark, the reindeer's irises will dilate for months on end. But when they're enlarged like this for an extended period of time, their eyes begin to swell, compressing the fibers that make up the tapetum. In its extended state, it would usually reflect yellow wavelengths, but when it's compressed, it reflects blue wavelengths. So in the summer, the reindeer's golden tapetum reflects a lot of light out of the eye to help it deal with the near constant daylight, a bit like inbuilt sunglasses. And then in the winter, the tapetum turns blue, which reflects less light out of the eye so that it can deal with the never-ending darkness. I bet this would make Rudolph so jealous. The Applesauce Owl Early in 2020, a viral sensation swept the world that left people scared and confused. No, not that viral sensation. This one. Twitter user Javon78 brought the world's attention to a photo of an owl sitting, and I quote, crisscross applesauce. Considering no one has ever witnessed a bird sitting with its legs crossed like a yoga aficionado before, the internet began to ask, can owls really sit cross-legged? While the deceptively long legs of these amazing birds look like they could bend like pretzels, the heartbreaking truth is that they actually cannot sit crisscross applesauce. Owl legs have backward bending joints, so they physically can't bend them like those of a human. The owl is actually sitting on its hocks, which are the backward bending joints between the bird's thighs and its lower leg. It's a resting behavior seen in many birds, although few of them have as many frontal feathers as this little owl. So it would seem that the lay of those feathers is creating the illusion that this bird knows a few killer yoga poses. Massive Murmurations just before dusk, skies around the world are suddenly blacked out by shape-shifting clouds that turn, twist, and loop in bizarrely beautiful patterns. But these aren't clouds. They're actually flocks of thousands of starlings. And when they perform these impossible acts of choreography high in the sky, they're called a murmuration. While they start out comprised of a few hundred or a few thousand birds, many more quickly join the nighttime acrobatic routine. They can swell beyond a million individual flyers, with one murmuration in Somerset, Britain, attracting an astounding record of six million starlings back in 1999. But as mesmerizing as they are, why do they do it? Well, grouping together like this offers safety in numbers, with sky-high predators finding it hard to target just one bird in the middle of such an immense flock. And by gathering like this, it allows the starlings to exchange information like where the best feeding areas are, as well as gathering to keep warm for the night. I guess there's nothing like performing an immense display of sky-high choreography to get you ready for bed. Have you ever seen an animal doing any of these weird and wacky behaviors? Let me know down in those comments below, and thanks for watching.